Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good evening. We will start our lecture on for week 4, which is on research objective and research question. Previously, I already teach you the category or type of research. We, have, we can divide it into either based on applied research or basic research. For example, applied research is to solve problem. As you still remember, why basic research is to identify knowledge. Okay, and then we also can categorize research based on two categories, quantitative, qualitative, and in addition, we, we, if we combine it, we can divide it into three, which is mixed method. Mixed method is a combination of qualitative and quantitative. To recap back, qualitative is something not involve number. For example, we interview, we make observation, we uh, make... Um, Focus group discussion is something not involve, involving number. This is qualitative. While for quantitative, is involving number. For example, you conduct a survey. Uh, our analysis for lab exercise is one example of quantitative research. Uh, other than that, research also can be categorized based on science research or social science research. Our uh, our program AM 228, 225, 226, our category is, our nature is a uh, social science research. Okay, uh, just to inform you, I already upload new uh, stream of work and JSUB. So you can go to island, okay, under ADS 651, under course content, you click Dr. Yana material. Okay, under course content, you, uh, you can see Dr. Yana material folder. You click there. So, I already upload our new stream of works. And JSU, yeah, JSUB is uh, assessment, uh, division of assessment. So, uh, need, uh, all students, you need to download these two documents and please see it carefully to indicate uh, which week in our new uh, academic calendar that you need to require to submit assignments and our test uh, our uh, our assessment uh, will follow uh, what exactly um, uh, I already uh, did uh, for uh, ADS 651 it's still the same assessment we already uh, we have research proposal uh, 30% we have final test still 20% Sorry, sorry, we have research proposal 50%. Uh, we have lab exercise 30% and we have uh, final test 20%. Saya tak tahu kenapa keluar ni. Scam. So, the assessment is still the same. Sama saja. For final test, cuma final test tu kita akan jalankan online uh, during week 30. Ingat eh, week 13 kita akan jalankan final test secara online. Submission for lab exercise and also research proposal will then uh, normally saya akan pilih week yang hujung lah. Week 13, week 14. So, I will give you more time to complete your lab exercise and also your research proposal. Okay. Go back to our slide. Okay, today I will teach you about research objective and research question. This is very important because it is a part of your research proposal. Okay, um, setting, uh, next is, is how to set research objective. What is the research objective? Okay. Okay, research objective is a set of lists what the research is going to achieve. They provide evidence of the research, clear understanding about purpose and direction of the proposed study. RO provide a guideline for determining which other step must be undertaken. Okay, research objective is normally we create as a guideline sebagai garis panduan, the purpose of our research. For example, the research, for example, let's say that you want to examine the influence of the factor that influence stress. In your study, there are about three independent variables yang you nak examine. 
for example factor influence stress for example workload a family problem and also a uh, financial problem so there are kind of tiga jenis research objective first to examine the relationship between workload and stress among student in UiTM Seremban second is to examine the influence of um family problem on workload towards uh, work sorry to examine the influence of family problem and stress of student in UiTM Seremban so uh, normally research objective ni adalah garis panduan kepada kajian kamu it, it act as a guideline okay next um. okay this is characteristic of research good research objective okay characteristic of re good research objective normally it, it must be specific mean that it must be clear about what where when and how the situation be changed for example um to examine the influence uh to examine the factor influence stress uh it is example of unclear dia tak specific to examine the influence of factor what factor so to be make it your research objective specific to examine the influence of workload on stress of toward student in UITM Seremban. Uh, very specific. Your research objective must be very specific. Okay, next, your good research objective must be measurable, able to quantify the target and benefit. Okay, your research objective is cannot be something yang um, very ambitious. Means that, for example, lah, to examine, um, to identify to identify the strategies to reduce national, to resolve national debt. Uh, this is good research objective. This is something yang is difficult to measure and difficult uh, to achieve. Uh, you, you can see that third characteristic is achievable. Able to attain the objective. Benda, pastikan research objective tu dia tak terlalu ambitious. And dia adalah sesuatu yang senang, mudah to achieve. When you become more ambitious, it will jeopardize your research. Means that the researcher unable to complete the research. That's why in an inner research, a good objective must be something that specific, major and can achievable. And then the fourth is realistic, able to attain the level of change. Realistic means that the research objective must be logic. Okay, uh, and then time bound, stating the period. Uh, stating the periods mean, for example, to examine the influence of workload on student performance uh, uh, of UITM Serembans uh, for the year 2020, 2020, uh -huh, time bound. Uh, it must be stated the time. But in your case, for your research proposal, it's not necessary to provide time bound. Okay, next. Forming research question. Okay. Okay, tadi research objective. Now we go to research question. Research question is the list of questions the research is starting to answer. It's an ambiguity shrouded the underlying research problem. RQ are question identified by researcher. Okay, research question is normally reflection of research objective. Sebenarnya research question ni adalah... Gambaran kepada research objective. For example, saya bagi you example yang you senang faham. For example, my research objective is to examine the influence of workload and on stress among student UITM Seremban. Saya punya research question, kita terbalik jadi soalan. Whether there is any relationship between workload and student stress uh, among UITM Seremban student. Uh, means that uh, objective is a statement. Research objective is sex, a statement. While research questions it the, is the statement that you twist into a questions. Uh, very simple. Okay, why you... Uh, this is the important of research question is same with the important of research objective. Kenapa you kena ada research questions? To provide a clear directions in organizing research project. To delimit research project through showing its boundary supaya you tak pergi ke arah lain. Contohnya, to... to 
to understand the relationship between workload and stress. So, you, you nak kaji pasal workload sahaja. You tak akan kaji faktor lain. Kajian you nak tahu pasal influence of workload on stress. So, bila you buat research, you akan pastikan boundary you hanyalah mengkaji impact workload on stress. You tak nak kaji impact lain. So, that's why it's very important to have research objective and also research question because it guide you. It allow you to work on the boundaries. Supaya you tak overhelm me, you pergi buat benda yang terlampau besar. Okay. Okay, interconnection between RO and RQ. Okay, apa apa significant research question and research objective? As you uh, can see that I explained before, the uh, research question and research objective ni adalah benda sama. Research question ni adalah reflection kepada statement research objective. Dua benda ni sebenarnya sama. Cuma research question dalam bentuk soalan dan research objective adalah bentuk penyataan. Okay, doing the research project require a complicated process. It is not impossible for the researcher to slide along the way through the research project. In this case, the research question provide a great assistance for the researcher to bring the focus back on track. Okay, for example, let's say lah example dia. For example, a student dia doing a PhD, dia nak kaji mechanism in maintaining accountability in organizations. So, along the way, they doing a research. Pelajar ini menjalankan kajian. Pelajar ni jumpa selain mekanism, they are fa ada faktor yang menyebabkan berlaku ketidak, uh, berlaku inaccountability. For example, corruption semua. So, pelajar ni berminat lah nak tahu pasal corruption. But when he or she refer back to research objective of research question, dia akan berfikir, oh tidak, saya punya objektif bukan nak kaji corruption tapi saya punya objektif adalah mengkaji mechanism to ensure accountability. So, it will it will track back the researcher to the main roof apa yang mereka perlu lakukan. That's why in, all, in your research proposal, it is also very important you to indicate your research objective and also your research question. Let sekejap ni lepas ni saya akan ajar you how to construct chapter 1. Ya, yeah, to ensure that you focus on your research. Okay. Uh, as, uh, specifically research question is very important. Okay, saya skip yang ni. It's just same apa yang saya explain. Provide direction writing, uh, framework. It's is similar with apa yang saya dah ajar. Okay, this is nothing. Okay, during your COVID, remember that you need to work on your research proposal. proposal. Jangan lupa. Okay, thank you. Okay, I finish this uh, slide on research question and on research objective.